flat out in top gear, just under 8,000 RPM. Almost like Indy cars. Whoa, we're gonna crash! Well, hello and welcome to Historic Monza today for a bit of a time warp race. We're running a circuit that uh, hasn't existed, at least in this format, since the 1970s in a series of cars, the GT1 series, which hasn't been raced since the 1990s. So a bit of a time warp today. One of the things I love doing in sim racing is creating these combinations of things that I wish had existed in the real world, but maybe didn't exist in the real world, and then presenting them as realistically as we possibly can in the 665 inch 4K motion ring. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Starting from seventh on the grid for a five lap race. It is gonna be clouding over as the race progresses as well. We may get a little sprinkling of rain at the end, hopefully not, but we are driving McLaren, so who knows? Hopefully we don't find ourselves in the same position as Lando at Russia. But you never know. And speaking of McLaren, just look at that beautiful Golf F1 GTR in front of us there. We've got a D2 CLK LM up ahead of us. A couple of cars ahead too that I can see. Absolutely beautiful cars. Some of the most beautiful race cars ever made, at least in my opinion. Look at this circuit as well. Look at these bank turns. Can't wait to hit these at full speed. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> Rattle my teeth out with the motion rig, I think. All right, time to get into double file here for the start. Oh, mate here in the McLaren's a little keen. How you doing, mate? Have a good race. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that D2 CLK there. Beautiful car, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, focus, Will, focus. We've got a race to do. Let's get this done. Okay, decent launch. What on my inside still? No spotter today. Didn't have spotters back then. In real life, I don't think so. We're not gonna run one either. Should be pretty much flat out through turn one if we get a good run, but a little bit of a wild ride there. Still got a car on my inside. I can see there he is. Flat out down into turn two. I guess it's called turn two. A little bit of a tap there on my inside. I can feel the car get light. We're still alive though, around the outside. Trying to get a good exit. And down into the more familiar section of the circuit, back behind the Golf McLaren again. Under the bridge, which of course still exists in real life today. No chicanes though, none of that crazy business. No need to slow the cars down. Safety wasn't a thing back then as we got the beautiful Golf McLaren, I can see in my mirrors there. Beautiful car. Breaking into Parabolica now. Let's see if we can thread it down the inside. Up into sixth place. And now crossing over into the bank turn section of the circuit. Up into sixth gear. We've got another Merc coming down the inside. Must be running lower downforce than us, I think. Nobody on my outside. Just got to take it easy. How much the car's bouncing around, it's almost impossible to hold it in a straight line. It's going to leave plenty of space to try to catch the slipstream here. Having a look in my mirrors. Flat out in top gear, just under 8,000 RPM. Almost like Indy cars. Whoa, we're going to crash. Whoa, a little bit of a tap there. Trying to avoid that incident. We're still alive though. Just a little love tap. 
Whoa, come on. I do have a car on my inside there, but I really want to try and get the inside line here. See if I can blitz these guys through turn one. How brave do we want to be? Let's be brave. Let's do it. All right. I think we're clear on the outside. Yep, we're clear. All right. He's coming back up on me again. Run it right up, trying to use as much of the track as I can. Still getting used to this car though. Okay, back down past the church again. Under the bridge. You'll notice the ambient lighting is a lot more active than it has been in recent races as well. We did some upgrades this week. So let me know in the comments what you think of that. Added some backfill lighting so we get a little bit more contrast and a little bit more shadowing going on. Also spent the day today adjusting things as well to try and get a little bit more. Correction in the angle too. You would have noticed in a few of the recent videos since we added the D-Box there was a little bit of distortion going on on the side screen. So we fixed that up now too. Looks like our D2 CLK is up into first place almost three wide. See if we can catch up with these guys. Join the battle for first place. It's not going to be easy though. God, the, the road is so bumpy. Almost want to give this a try in a modern F1 car, see what it's like. You can see the skid marks from the incident the lap before. Coming into lap three now. Bit of a gap behind us. May not last long though, we'll go flat out through turn one this time. Must be flat out for about 90% of the circuit, I think, around here. Just watching my mirrors, see one coming up on me. Slowly gaining. It's starting to cloud over though. A little bit worried it might get some rain. Under the bridge again. Whoop, little wheel on the grass there, my bad. Mirrors are clear for now. I can see one guy on my outside. Good exit, good exit, come on. Hello. Hey, I'm waving to you. Bit rude. All right, let's get these guys. Oh, <laughs> so bumpy. There's still a car on my outside, I can just see him there. Gonna take it easy. Slot in behind him again. Get to catch the slipstream. See if he'll drag me up to the leading two. I think we're running a little less, or a little more downforce rather than these guys are. Seem to be a little compromised on the straights, but we are faster through the first couple of turns. Let's see if we can get it done. We're coming into lap four now. Another one on my inside. Yeah, definitely got more straight line speed than I do. Switch into the outside. There he is. Okay. Should still be able to hold it flat unless, as long as he doesn't turn it in front of me. We've got space. Leave the space. 
Oh, it's getting dark. We might get some rain. Okay. We've got a battle on our hands now. Down the inside. That D2 car is so beautiful. Whoa! Go through, whoa, trying to turn me. <laughs> the battle. Where do we break, here? Flames out the back of the AMG. Yeah, there's a few little spots of rain I can see. Just a few. There it is, all right, let's get the wipers on. That could cause trouble. That could definitely cause trouble. It's too late to pit now too. Get the headlights on too, the signature 90s EL backlight. <laughs> it's like a flying V right now. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna do guys? Come on. Come on. Hold it together. It looks like the rain might be easing again. We'll see though. Oh, it's so bumpy. See a little bit of, oh, how brave can I be into turn one? I don't know, let's just gauge it off what they do, I think. Whoa! Oh, I can see some water now, some spray. That's really gonna make the, oh, it's really wet. It's really wet, come on. Hold it together, hold it together. It's way wetter than I was expecting. <laughs> Just try to stay with these guys. So much spray. It's the final lap though, so we don't want to pit. Whoa, there he goes. There still seems to be quite a... Oh, there we go. Dry again. Oh, a little tap. My bad. <laughs> All right. We're in fourth again. A couple of corners to go. I'm just going to send it through. I think nothing to lose now. Look at that standing water. Oh, two crash cars there. I can see on the inside too. A couple of retirements there. Come on, boys. I don't think I'm going to get the win unless something happens here. Back into the dry again. Might end up in fifth. Let's see. Don't have any more speed in me, this is it. Come on, come on. Whoa! Back in the wet, it's aquaplaning all over the place. <laughs> oh, fifth. Whoa! <laughs> that was wild. That was every bit as wild as I was expecting it to be. <laughs> so close to the win there, but just wasn't quite brave enough in the wet conditions there. I wasn't sure how much rip I would have. Oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. A little taste of what it might be like to drive a GT1 car, beautiful McLaren F1 GTR. 
around historic Monza. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a thumbs up and make sure you're subbed as well so you don't miss future videos. We're focusing at the moment pretty heavily on our more serious racing. Obviously, this was a bit of a showcase, a bit of fun, but we've been working our way through a series in iRacing in the Ferrari Challenge. We've also got a series in a set of Corsa coming up very soon as well. So lots of things to look forward to, but that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And yeah, we'll uh, see you again in the next one. Bye.